Hi everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I'm bringing another requested video to you today. And that is, well, let me fix the charm here. That's not working right, not cooperating. Um, but what I have is a vacuum comparison and I am comparing today the style number 9303 Bleaker Satchel. Okay. and style 4133 Waverly. Both very similar bags because they're both handheld bags or bags that you wear in the crook of your arm. They are not going to be worn crossbody or over the shoulder because they just cannot be, right? They're very similar in size too. Um, I don't know if the, the viewer who requested this video was wondering if they are about the same size, but they are very similar. If anything, I would say that the bigger of the two would be the 9303 Bleaker Satchel. So we'll go over a couple of comparisons here. Um, first, you know, I did a video on both of these bags separately. If you want to check them out, I'll link them below. Another thing I wanted to say about this, I don't think I mentioned this in my first video. So this is Bleaker, B-L-E-E, K-E-R the first year that the bag was released, but they changed it after the first year to B-L-E-E-C-K-E-R, okay? And that's because Bleaker is, and I might be saying this incorrectly, but it's a street name in New York, okay? That's what this bag was named after. It's a street name in New York, but the original person, I guess, who did whatever they did, didn't know how to spell it correctly. They must not have been from New York and it was spelled incorrectly the first year, okay? So if you are listing this bag or if you're looking for this bag, um, ideally what you wanna do is you wanna look for both B-L-E-E-K-E-R and B-L-E-E-C-K-E-R, okay? I don't think I mentioned that before. So 9303. Strap drop is the same, about five inches, if anything, and I know it probably doesn't even look like that on the video, if anything, the Wave Family might have a little bit of a larger strap drop, about five and a half inches. Um, the bottoms are very similar in uh, shape. They're both rectangular. Of course, this is a longer sided rectangle. But uh, the leather is done differently. So these have the folded in edges, leather folded in edges, and this has a lip. And I'll tell you, a lip really does well in protecting a bag if you're setting it down. Really where you where you get wear is on the lip and less wear on the bottom of the bag and less likely to get crap on the bottom of the bag. Um, this one really wasn't used. You, I can just tell by how it feels and how it looks and how it was on the inside. But um, So I don't have that wear, but the type of wear you would typically get are going to be around the edges where you, you get basically dye wear, okay? The dye starts wearing down or it just gets really dry. Um, depending on the color, that can be easily remedied with conditioner sometimes, so that's not gonna be remedied at all, okay? In the case for these edges, they really wear down, okay? These corners, they're stress points, I would call them. Um, depending on how rough the bag was used, they the leather can be worn through, but definitely color fade, you'll see there. And the fact that this whole bag goes right on to whatever surface you put it on, hopefully a table versus a, uh, you know, floor, but whatever, I mean, tables get spills too and sticky and nasty. Um, the whole bottom is exposed to stains, oils, water, whatever. So that's something that came in mind. On this bag, there is no hardware on the outside. So I do have a charm and I don't have a tag for this particular bag. A tag would have come with it. I just don't have it. So somebody must not have liked the little coat chain tags and just removed it. So it was lost forever. But um, I have it hung from the zipper here. The zipper is brass, but you can't really see any you know, I remove that. You just by carrying this bag, you can't really see hardware, right? Wax hardware. However, for the Waverly here, it has 
minimal hardware, but hardware then nonetheless, again, brass, and it's just these little buckle loops. This bag is considered part of the lightweight collection, okay? I would describe the Waverly, though, as a thick, leathered, lightweight bag. Take that with a grain of salt um, because that's how I'll describe it. It's not the lightest weight bag I've ever held, but yeah, it's fairly lightweight. If this was thick leather and had thicker hardware um, and it had a brass uh, zipper, I, this bag would definitely weigh a lot more. So not the lightest, but not too heavy either, right? It is technically part of the lightweight collection. Um, they both zip here, right? And as I've already pointed out, this is not part of the lightweight collection. Now, they are pretty much, I did not weigh them, pretty much the same weight. Um, this one, slightly heavier. Okay, it's also slightly bigger. But honestly, I cannot appreciate much of a difference. So, brass zipper, lightweight bags, any bag part of a lightweight collection, which is a very vast collection, okay? Lots of different bags in the lightweight collection. They're gonna have nylon zippers. So the whole idea of the bag is it's gonna be as light as possible and so you're gonna add less hardware, okay? And that's why the nylon, the zippers are nylon. Oh, I wanted to show you something because I was just thinking, I mean, both of these bags, I'm, I'm not keeping either one of these bags, um, but I was thinking, I, I kind of really want to keep this one. Um, I'm going to describe the leather a little bit. I recently did a video on one of my, um, the bags that I added to my collection. That was the side pack, that green side pack bag. And I've talked before about the leather on, on the side packs, the small side pack included. I just love the leather so much. It's so soft, so supple, so just divine, in my opinion. It's one of my favorites. This bag has a very similar, if not the exact same leather. Can't say for sure. Um, it's a totally different style. As you can see, there's contrast stitching here, but it is so soft and lovely, and it really makes me wanna keep the bag. It's just not a practical bag for myself, okay? And the fact that it really wasn't used is another reason, but um, it's not practical for me, so I'm not keeping it. But something I love, I was like, well, if I did keep this bag, how would I use it? And I can see myself, okay, so I go to a restaurant and I sit my bag on the table because I'm not sitting this bag on the floor and I don't have one of those little purse hanging things that people have to hang their bag off of the table. I mean, those used to be popular. I don't know, do people still use them? And I was just thinking, oh, I could put my phone. I don't have my phone right now, but I do have in my hands this little chunky case favorite accessories. Look at that. But picture, you could just put your phone there. Um, I don't know. Easy access. Cute. Can't really do that with the Waverly. Not to take away from the Waverly, but I just thought that was a neat little feature because that, you know, little crevice there with the zipper. Yeah, that doesn't work. The little crevice there is just so big. It's like a little table, a little miniature table. That brings me to another thing, pocket on the outside for this bag. Nice little pocket, new pocket. It's the same, both sides, right? Okay. And then we're gonna go to the inside of this bag. As you can see, this is more rounded around the edges. This has more pointy edges. Nice big vast compartment with one flat pocket that does not have a zipper. Contrast stitching is still continued inside the bag. It's lovely, it's beautiful, it's well made. It's a great bag. And then I bring you over to the Waverly, very popular bag. Often you'll see the incorrect bag listed as a Waverly. It's a, am I mistaken when I call it a Soho buckle bag? I think that's the name. I did a video on it, it's in the video. The straps are longer, you'd wear it over your shoulder, but they look very similar. The short strap bag is the Waverly. The bottom is different too, by the way, for that um, buckle bag. Let's open it up. Also has a little leather um, pull tab. I don't know if I mentioned that about the leaker. Besides something a little bit more unique, I will say, even though this bag is smaller, it seems to have just a wider opening, a bigger cavity, right? Just 
it seems so much more spacious inside. Isn't that funny? This bag is slightly smaller, but it just seems bigger inside. And in addition, we have two pockets. We have this, you know, and vintage coach bags, not all of them, even though some do, they're not very, you know, um, compartmented. There's not many compartments in them. So we've got this, sorry, I keep a little information things in here. Um, we've got this little flat pocket, no zipper, and then we come around to the other side and we have another flat pocket, and no zipper. Little brass pull tag, but as you can see, it's a nylon zipper because it's a lightweight bag, so. And there's a little creed, that funky H factory code. Let's put them on. I have this one zipped right now. I personally prefer, I also, I don't know if you noticed on my other video, I had the straps completely different. So technically you can move them around, but this is how they're supposed to go. Um, yeah. I prefer this bag not zipped. Let me move this down a little bit. I prefer to wear it open. Yeah, I prefer to wear it open. I just think it looks better. I'm five seven. The um, straps for both are finished on both sides. Uh, sometimes, you know, straps are raw on one side, not for either one of these bags. I don't know. How do people who like carrying handbags like this carry? <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't get children to pick up at this moment in my life. Oh well, yeah, okay. I didn't really bring any new charms. That's another kind of requested video by somebody who's kind of been with me from the beginning. Hi there. Um, and I try to talk about the charms that I have Maybe one day I'll do a full video. I'm still kind of figuring that out. That's why I haven't yet. But both charms, I don't think these are available. I have two places that I search for charms. I search for charms on the Coach Outlet site, okay? Um, and I search for charms on the resale market. And I like to use charms that make me think of people or things that I love. I like to use charms that just make me happy, okay? That's my preference in using bag of charms. There's a whole bunch. So people pick charms out for a specific bag and you know, they just think it, it dresses that particular bag up and it goes with that bag and that's awesome too. Um, and I guess what I'd say is cherries don't really remind me of anybody. I just really like this charm. It's heavy. Um, it does have the coach, the C's inside. It's got little sparkles. And I mentioned this before, this charm had bad reviews online. And that's probably why it went on sale or on clearance. The only reason I think that is is because the um, picture made it look really red. And then this doesn't look as red in person. It looks more pink-ish. But honestly, it looks great with red, I think, in my opinion. So the charm is just a really high quality charm. So people were just likely disappointed by the color. Okay, well, that is my comparison to the Bleecker Satchel 9303 and the Waverly 4133. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more talk about vintage coach bags. And I like to do rehab videos as well, so you might catch some of those. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.